Hi, it's April Snyder from Sweet Autumn Studio, and today we're going to be talking about hemming your punch needle piece. Here are a couple things that you'll need to get started. You'll need a ruler, a long needle, or which is also called a darning needle, a pair of scissors, a Sharpie pen, I normally use a fine, button thread is a good thing to use with uh, sewing with sewing this piece. Um, you can use wonder clips here, or you could use also pins. So let's go ahead and see what we got going. First of all, here's a piece. This is an Amy Oxford piece that she created, the ginkgo leaf. And what I like to do is after I've completed the piece, I go to the back where we've been punching, and I measured out an inch all the way around. So I normally put just a dot and then I go all the way up through the holes of the monk's cloth with my, that's why a fine Sharpie is good. You can actually go right into it and come down. Um, so I went all the way around. So this measures an inch all the way around. And then at the corners, what we wanna do is you're gonna go ahead and measure a half an inch. And I've showed this, I believe, um, on the the video where I'm actually showing you ironing the material, the monk's cloth down. So here's the dot here, and I'm going to go ahead and go on a diagonal cross. So after I have this completed, I'll use just Elmer, good old Elmer's glue, and I'm going to go all the way around with the Elmer's glue. And along here too, with, and I normally just use my finger, go all the way around and let it dry. Um, after that, I'll cut it out and then I will iron it down. So let's look at the next piece. And by the way, when you do anything like this with markers, always put a protective icky piece of paper that you have down because because there are holes in the monk's cloth, it could go onto your furniture. So the next piece, that I've been working on is uh, the pink uh, poinsettia. And I've already gone ahead and started here in the corner. And I normally start in the corner, I go down and I take the, the needle back through underneath and then I go ahead and do a whip stitch to the next corner. And this is where I am right now. So I thought I'd show you how to do the corner. Um, so over here just shows you that um, I cut it out after went ahead and measured it with the marker and, and did the glue. Now it's not fraying, which is nice. But when I ironed it, I ironed the corners first. If you look at the video about ironing the piece, and then I ironed this flat, completely flat up here. You don't want it where it's hanging over and you're gonna see that, you wanna really get it straight down with steam and iron it. And then I fold it over and that's when, I don't really go ahead and iron the fold over. I do it while I'm going. So that's what we do. I did wanna just talk about that this is an inch. So when you fold it in half, the border will only be a, a half an inch. Um, here's one completed. Um, another one here is actually, I did an inch and a half. So three fourths of an inch is folded over. You might like that, that's a little bit thicker. Um, the, uh, the other way to do it is with bigger rugs, we always were taught to do two inches. So this is equals to an inch. So I just wanted to show you some examples. It's really up to you, the thickness of your um, hemmed border. So you can just wanted to show you a couple examples so you can decide. All right, let's get started. See if I can do this and you can see it. Not a good sewer, that's one thing. So you don't have to be a good sewer to complete this. So you go down in and underneath, grab some of the, of the loops. So the goal here will be, I'm gonna go ahead and 
get that corner. I'm going to take this off just because personally, I don't know. Some people like to work with them. I really don't. So, um, but I just wanted to show you that option. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's make sure this is in the screen. Go ahead and I'm going to con connect these to the two top areas. And I'm going to do it again. It's not moving over really good. Connect that like that. Pull it tight. So I'm connecting the top. And the reason why we cut this lower was trying to hide that. So let's keep going. Go from one side to the other. It's another one. going because I'm doing it this way it won't be as good looking <laughs> you want to concentrate a little bit more than trying to get it into the the screen for you so I'll hold it up to so keep going so the object is to keep going all the way down and be able to close up your corner and then you'll you'll stick the needle all the way through the end part. I'll probably do one or two more down here. I don't prick myself. Sorry, got to get it in the screen. All right, I do one more. It is stuck. Okay. There. So that's the corner. And I'm going to take the long needle and go all the way out and hide the thread. So there you go. So then you would start down here. The, the corners are really kind of the hardest part of being able to uh, get the needle in and bring it back up, I find. Because you kind of want to, when you want to go, you want to hide your needle thread so it's not showing. All right, well, that's what I got. So I'm going to go in because I just want to show you what I do on the long end. <laughs> So I'm going to go in, get some of the, the loops, come through. Okay, so the next one, I'm going to go behind the stitch, as you see there, and bring it up. Try to get it a little closer than I did. It's hard doing this when you're standing up. <laughs> so I go behind the stitch. That's a good one. Keep going. So this is considered a whip stitch. There's my stitch there. I'm going to go behind it and bring it up. All right. Then you keep going all the way along, and then you'll end at the other corner. Well, I hope this helps. I know it's probably was hard to see because you do. Want, it's nice to have a a thread that's the same color as the monk's cloth. So, hope this helps. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and you can Instagram me at Sweet Autumn Studio, or go ahead and ask a question on the YouTube station that you're watching this on. Come visit me at on my Instagram. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.